Students in Modesto are upset about the governor vetoing bills that would have provided tax breaks on items like tampons and diapers. I don't think that's right. I mean, it's a necessity. I don't know why it should be taxed any different than like groceries. Some believe taxes on feminine hygiene products amount to a tax on being a woman, since there's little choice about buying these products. There's some things that we shouldn't have to pay taxes on. And in California, we pay a lot of taxes on everything. Other women, such as San Diego Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez, who authored the diaper tax bill, told KCRA 3 by phone she's disappointed by the governor's actions because vetoing a tax break on diapers puts an added burden on parents. We're talking $100 a year for the average family, and knowing that in California that one out of two uh, kids are born under Medi-Cal. We know that most young families are, are poor or um, working and struggling or middle class and really could use that relief right now. Both the diaper and tampon sales tax repeals unanimously passed the legislature last month. But today, Governor Brown said in a statement, quote, the tax breaks are the same as new spending, therefore leading him to veto the bills. Gonzalez says if Governor Brown were a dad, the outcome may have been different. I think it's always worthwhile when we have elected officials who have children, um, you know, when you're dealing with issues that, that deal with kids. In Modesto, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News.